He came to power unexpectedly. Martin Vizcarra was sworn in as Peru's president in 2018 after Pedro Pablo Kuczynski stepped down amid allegations of corruption. Now, after a tumultuous time in office, Vizcarra has been ousted. Lawmakers accuse him of moral incapacity for allegedly receiving more than $630,000 in bribes for public works when he was a governor in Peru's southern region of Moquegua. Martin Vizcarra said there was absolutely no proof of the allegations and denied any wrongdoing. I have my head up high. You know very well that I never run away. I hold in my hands the arguments for the truth. Less than two months ago, Vizcarra survived a previous attempt to remove him over claims he'd interfered in a corruption investigation. In September, before the first impeachment trial, the government filed a lawsuit at the Constitutional Tribunal to clarify what moral incapacity means according to the Constitution. But the justices said they will not have an answer before December, allowing lawmakers to make their own interpretation of the law. Analysts say lawmakers have undermined Peru's political system. El fin de la democracia, creo yo. This is the end of democracy for our country. We have turned into a banana republic where the rule of law is a joke and lawmakers think they can unsee a president just because they have votes. Martin Vizcarra leaves office after confronting some of the worst political upheaval in recent history. Seven cabinets changed. At least 60 ministers resigned. Vizcarra dissolved Congress last year in an attempt to push forward political and education reforms. Evidently, this created a great animosity from the traditional political class toward President Vizcarra, who didn't have a party. And in Peru, when a president is orphaned of political support in Congress, the the rule has been that those governments end really bad, or with a coup d'etat. Martin Vizcarra fought Congress amid the worst health and economic crisis in Peru for more than a hundred years. To the end, he maintained he was the victim of an opposition plot following his own efforts to introduce anti-corruption reforms. Live now to Mariana Sanchez in Lima. Uh, Vizcarra came out to speak in the last hour. What was his reaction? That's right. Uh, Imran uh, Martin Vizcarra was uh, flanked by members of his cabinet in front of the steps of the presidential palace. He gave a last goodbye to Peruvians. He has said goodbye. He uh, said he was going home, but that he disagreed with the result of this vote and that he has always been transparent. He said he would not take any legal action and that he was now going to face justice and prove everyone wrong. He has said all along, not only today, but throughout these past months, this during this impeachment and during the past impeachment uh, proceedings a month and a half ago, that he has uh, denied throughout these times any wrongdoings and that, uh, well, and that he will prove everyone wrong. In the meantime, a lot of Peruvians are now angry. In uh, the last uh, few polls, uh, we have seen that Peruvians supported President Martin Vizcarra, and now people are protesting in the streets of uh, Lima, uh, some also in uh, the city of Trujillo, north of, of Lima, uh, and uh, in other places. We've just seen few people. Uh, there is a curfew here in an hour because of the pandemic, uh, so uh, possibly we will see more people on the streets tomorrow. I remind you that it's 78% uh, uh, of Peruvians who have supported uh, Vizcarra all along and have said that he should stay, that he should have stayed until uh, July of next year. Uh, we have elections, general elections in, Jan in uh, April, and that he should stay and face justice after that. People are angry. 95% of Peruvians say that he must be uh, investigated and, and prosecuted. but. Uh, but at this moment, a lot of Peruvians are angry and uh, possibly we'll see more people in the streets in the next few hours. Thank you, Mariana Sanchez. Life for us there in Peru.